We're here with Ohio Dominican track and field coach Paul Benedict. Paul, thanks for joining us here. Thank you. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about um, the team here before we get into the GLIAC championships this weekend. The two teams have combined for 21 school records this season, and each team has saw their highest regional rankings all time here a couple weeks ago. Um, what are your thoughts on how the indoor season has gone? Um, well, first off, I, I can't be more pleased with how we're doing. Um, this is definitely our best uh, indoor season we've had to date. Um, you know that that goes as far as performances for sure, and uh, definitely team scores um, throughout the year in terms of some of the meets we've been to. Um, but you're right. We, you know we've broken a ton of school records. Uh, we've been able to hit a lot of um, personal best this season. Um, ultimately, our goal is to to continue to move up in the conference and, uh, and send more or send some individuals to nationals. So that that'll be our goal moving forward. All right. Now, sort of throughout this indoor season, we've seen you've seen some success in the 400 meter dash and the four by 400 meter relay on both both teams. Um, sort of is that sort of been like an area where you've focused on throughout the season? Right. Um, well, it helps that uh, with the addition of Butch Reynolds uh, as a 400 meter athlete himself, uh, I should say a world record holder that, you know, he, he um, is is pushing for our 400 meter runners. Um, well, really all, all events, but we've been able to stand out a little bit in the 400s. Um, you, you know, I think they have the, our four by four uh, uh, team has definitely the best uh, uh, possibility of scoring um, or, or even hitting an NCAA provisional mark. Um, so, you know, we're excited about that, but definitely uh, when it comes to some of our other sprints as well, um, you know, they have just as a, a chance as our 400 meters do. Now, you've also seen a lot of freshman success here early early in the season, whether it be Austin Neiman, Avery Sumter, um, Ellis, Carroll, and even Lester as of late, and then on the women's side, Ashley Blake and Jalen Devereaux. Sure. So um, just a little bit about the freshman success here. Right, uh, it's been exciting. Um, it's been uh, exciting to see them uh, step up, to see them um, perform at some of the bigger meets. Um, you know, I'm I'm extremely excited for this weekend to see what they can do as far as uh, possibility of scoring within our conference. Um, but you know, uh, I'm not. I'm excited, but I'm not surprised because I knew that they were definitely talent coming in. Coming in. Now you also have some upperclassmen on each team that are that are sort of leading the way for these underclassmen. Um, just how have they played or performed this season? Sure, um, you know this is our first um, year with uh, a senior group since we're new as a program. So our first time we've been able to have some senior captains uh, and a senior class that that some of the younger um, student athletes have been able to look up to. Um, I mean they've exceeded my expectations. Um, as far as their leadership on and off the court, if you will. Um, but we've seen uh, improvement in all areas, you know, in terms of PRs and just in terms of our overall team dynamic. Now the GLIAC tournament is this weekend at Saginaw Valley. Um, according to the um, polls, the, the GLIAC is the top conference. Um, there's four teams from each men and women in the top 25 nationally. And most of the season, you've been able to compare yourself sort of against the Finleys and Ashlands all season. How nice has that been? Right. Um, yeah, like you mentioned, our, our conference is considered one of the toughest conferences in the whole country. And, um, you know, we are new to the conference and new as a track program. But we're not going to let that um, hold us back when it comes to rising up to the competition. Uh, you know, we've been able to slowly progress and, and compete. Uh, you know, at each meet we've, we're, we're at throughout the season, but you know, our ultimate goal is to continue to move up in the conference. Now you speak about your goals. What are some expectations and goals you have just for this weekend here? Sure. Well, I don't want to jinx it, but you know, I'm, I'm confident we're going to do a lot, whole lot better than we did last year. Um, we'll be able to have a lot more top eight finishes, um, both men and women. I'm confident that our 4x4 and our DMR teams will be able to score uh, and, and look good doing it. Um, and, and I'm, I'm definitely um, expecting some individuals to kind of step up to the occasion and, and surprise us. So, All right, Head Coach Paul Benedict, good luck this weekend. Thank you.